Hello, chess family. It's me, National Master Jesse James, and today we are doing 1,200 to 1,400 back rank checkmates. Hope you're enjoying this series. Things are definitely getting a little bit harder here, but I'm pretty sure we can work it out. All right, here we go. We're going to start off with white to move in this position, and yes, I've already figured it out. Did you figure it out? Remember, when you're trying to problem solve these, look for checks, captures, and threats. That's the way you should be thinking, and that's the way you should be playing. So with that being said, if it ain't check, it ain't right, here we go. We start off with this very nice, and this is definitely a pattern I've seen quite a bit, bishop takes on f7 check here. Rook has to take here, and then we finish up with rook to e8 check, rook back, and then rook takes on f8 for mate. Yes, I think some of you are probably trying to look at the queen takes on f7 idea, which was Fisher's, uh, from Fisher's books, Bobby Fisher teaches his chess, but unfortunately the queen can take in this one, so this one, eh, not too hard. Apparently this is in that 1200 range. All right, here we go. Ah, another easy one. At this one, uh, this one we are not getting back rank checkmate, but we are winning material, which is the theme. You know, uh, not all uh, back ranks are going to be checkmates. Sometimes you're just winning your opponent's pieces. Here, there's two moves you should be looking at, but I know a lot of people here definitely notice the bishop and the queen working together. And here they looked at queen on h7 check. Unfortunately, this is not the wrong. Uh, this is not the right move. Er, yes, I'm glad that you looked at it, but remember, you do have to calculate a few moves. After queen h7 check, king f8, queen h8 check, the king just escapes to e7. Yep. Once the king's out there, the king still continues. Don't get me wrong, you can win a pawn here, but well, this rook and queen are definitely going to be surrounding your king, just like a shark, right? So here, we're going to look at the other check, queen to c8 check. And you're like, well, I really looked at this, but this doesn't work because of queen f8. Believe it or not, this is the move. A very good pattern to memorize. After queen to c8 check, queen blocks. Remember, always look for checks. What's the move here? Yep, it's bishop to h7 check. This forces the king away from the defender. And here we simply take the queen. All right, we're off to a good start here. All right, rook takes on f7 here. Remember, whenever you get to the higher level of thinking or a stronger chess player, don't just go into that, oh, they took, I need to take back. Here, after king takes, you can definitely see the queen to d7 check gets played. Things get a little bit hairy. Here, it's black to move and win. Simple chess. Here, you just got not, do not let the emotions run you wild. Here, well, all we got to do is get the queen to the back. But here, just remember, when you're solving pro puzzles, there's only going to be one right answer. So there's three different squares here, and only two are going to be right. Which one was it? Hopefully you didn't play too fast here. D1 check. Uh-oh. Queen took. Well, then C1. Bishop took. And that just leaves our last one. Queen over here to B1 check. And now we simply take all the free money. Takes and takes for a mate. All right. Here we go. On to the next one. Ah. The simple check, check, check. Uh, check, check, mate pattern. At least that's what I like to call it. Here the knight went to D7. And this was a terrible idea because it's blocking the defense of the F7 pawn. Here we see the rook. And the queen are looking really good here. And so, well, simple chess. Let's go ahead and take. Queen takes on f7 check. The king goes to h8. And here you have to ask yourself, well, what's the move now? There's a few moves to look at, but here only one's right. Here, typically, you would play queen f8, but here it would actually lose. Wait a second. After knight takes, the rook just takes. Unfortunately, you miss. After queen f8 check, f8 check the knight takes. But here the rook cannot take back as it's in a pin. So simple chess, and now that you realize that, and again, you realize that when you're solving puzzles, only one of them is going to be right. Here you'll find the move. It's queen to e8 check, and then we're going to go ahead and mate. And you should always try to find the move that doesn't lose a piece, right? I mean, if you don't have to do it, there's no need to do it. Although I do know there's a few showboaters out there that just want to sacrifice their queen. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm the same way. Awesome. Another simple idea. Here we see the rook. And the queen working together here, and you're like, well, where's the back rank checkmate? Well, a lot of times when you get to the higher levels, especially around the 12 to 1400 level, you have to help create or induce the weaknesses here. Remember, always look for the force moves, checks, captures, and threats. Here, we're going to start off with a check, of course. Did you see it? Here, the idea is the rook and the queen are eyeing this rook here on f1. Here, there's only one defender. And typically, if you can get two rooks for the queen, that's, uh, that's usually pretty good because, well, the uh, rooks are actually stronger than a queen, at least depending on the position. But for the ma majority of the time, the queen's going to be weaker than two rooks, right? Two is better than one. So did you see the idea? Here it's very simple. We're going to play bishop to e3 check. This attacks the king but opens up for them to take. And now simple chess. What do you do? We just take. Queen takes on f1 check. Rook takes. And then rook takes on f1 for mate. All right. On to the next one. Here we go. Ah, another easy one over here. Here we see that the queen took because, well, she's like, listen, I got a bishop over here, and it's guarding my back rank. Unfortunately, it is not. Black to move and win. Do you see it? 
Hopefully you do. We start off with, of course, rook over to e1 check. The bishop blocks. So you're saying, well, I can't take or else the king just takes back. This is true. Just remember, go on to your next idea, which is remove the defender. Here we want to take the bishop, but the king defends. Do you see the check now? Again, a very easy and a common pattern whenever you're doing these back rank mates. Bishop check over here. The king is forced over, and now rook takes on f1 for check and mate. All right, we're chucking along. This was apparently a 1300 puzzle. And, uh, oh, awesome. This one has two ideas combined, the check, check, mate pattern, but also remove the defender. All right. Did you try and figure it out? Here we see that we have one, two defenders for the back rank. And here we see the standard setup of the rook and the queen. Yeah, unfortunately, white here just missed the whole idea because, well, they're all up an extra piece. Maybe they got a little too excited. But here, simple chess. Let's do our first check. Queen takes on f2 check, king h1. And here you see, well, we'd like to go queen f1 check. But here we see we've only got two attackers, and they've got one, two defenders for the back rank. So simple chess. What do you do? Remove the defender. All we have to do is trade off one pair of rooks, and it's in check. And, uh, well, now the check, check, mate pattern's there. Now we simply go check and then mate. <laughs> Combination of two back ring check mating ideas. Especially if you started with our series or you just started off in general, this is even uh, as taught as low as, I think, 400 to 600 range. So they're both taught separately. And this one, we see the ideas get put together. Awesome. Another easy one here. This one right here is, of course, the back ring checkmate. Of course, not every back rank is going to be a checkmate. Sometimes we just win material. Although I have a feeling this time they're going to be nice to us. All right, it's white to move. What do you do? Well, hopefully you know that we're going to be at least be moving our queen around here as well. The, uh, the, the queen's being attacked by the bishop. So I hear someone saying maybe rook to d8 check. Rook takes, queen takes. Yes, you can do that. But the whole idea here is to get the rook to the back rank. And here, whenever you study for a little bit longer, you realize, well, this king really only has one square to move to, which is h8. You see this bishop is in a common checkmating pattern here. Okay, so what's the idea here? Here we're going to go ahead and, well, this rook is overloaded, meaning he's trying to cover the back rank and he's trying to defend the bishop. You can't do two jobs at once, at least not for chess pieces. So what do you do? Here we get to play the impossible-looking move. Queen takes on c6. And here they ended up taking, and now we just get that back rank mate. The queen was not guarding the the squares as well as she should have here we go rook to e1 check takes and then oh the king actually does get the escape score on here so f8 so yeah we're just going to end up winning some material here all right on to the next one Ooh, another very nice one i remember seeing this pattern first when it, it was vichy versus magnus carlson and you know i'm not too sure who did the checkmate here I believe it was Magnus Carlsen who, who, who did it to him, but I could be wrong. Either way, the idea here is pretty simple. The knight is covering on g7 here, which is the escape square for the king. So here the back rank mates are on. All we got to do is get a rook or a queen to the back rank. Do you see it? This one wasn't too hard. Once you realize that the king really can't escape anywhere, and we see that the queen's under attack, we look for the for a queen move. We look for any kind of check, and that's when you see it. Here we go, queen to a8 check. And now they simply block with their pieces, and we simply take the free money. Queen takes, and queen takes for mate. Again, the knight covered on g7, and the queen comes in for the back rank mate. Wow, we're already on nine already. Ooh, okay, awesome. Here we have checkmate in one, two moves here. And this one is a bit tricky because there is many different checks in this position. But remember, always look for the force checks, and always look for the impossible ones too. Because those are the ones your opponents will miss. All right. Uh, do I hear anybody saying any answers? Yes, I can already hear a lot of you calculating the queen to f8 check. A good try, but unfortunately, uh, not the right one this time. Why does this not work? Well, after rook to e8 gets played, there actually is no good checks here. I mean, your queen can come to f6 check, but the bishop just takes. And, uh, well, there's no back rank checkmate there. Is there any other checks right here? Well, there's two more that you should take a look at. There's queen d7 check. Well, that, that one doesn't look too good as the rook just takes. And then there's queen takes on c8 check. Again, doesn't look too good, but if you've been studying your patterns, you would know already that this is a very common theme. We're going to sacrifice our queen for the rook. Now, this only works because part of this pattern, or this checkmate pattern, is the pawn here on c6. As you can see, it's helping make uh, take away those escape squares for the king. So do you see it now? It's queen takes on c8 check, king takes. And remember, we had two rooks here that can help out, and here it was going to be the rook over to a8 for mate. All right, let's go ahead and do one more here and finish it up strong. Remember, if you did enjoy this, please go ahead and give us that like and subscribe. I'll be doing many more. I'm going to be doing lots of different other themes in the tactics area. 
All right, what's this one? Ugh, another easy one here. Here we see that the rook went to f2 and is attacking for g2 to checkmate. That's why it's always important to try to do force moves because you don't know what their moves are going to be and they could lead to mates. So the idea here, very simple. We want to get a rook or a queen to the back rank, but who's the main defender here? It's the rook here on a8. So classic idea. Let's just remove the defender. Simple as that. Let's get rid of this rook. How do you do it? Again, force move. Queen takes on a8 check, sacrificing the queen. Knight takes, and now checkmate in one, two, three moves. Oh, is it one, two moves? Sorry. There we go. One, and then the queen blocks, and then the rook blocks. There we go. In fact, they didn't even do the rook block, as it's just going to be mate there already. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs>